ball. Umpire has the ball, Shane. Thank you very much, Shane. Umpire Matthew Grapsis raises the ball to commence the second half of football out here this afternoon. Phil Bay doing battle with Big Scotter in the centre of the ground. Out she comes towards the half forward zone. Can anyone run over this ball? Picked up in defence and well picked up too. Going across the ground was Jeff Brooks. Had to head sideways across it. Picked up by Priscilla Cabbage. We've been told how to pronounce his name at half time. Spears a pass into Benyon. Takes the mark, does Benyon. Little kicks ineffective. Awful kick in back by Benyon, marked by Gary Tillman, and he relieves the pressure but his kick's not good either on. The kicking's atrocious here this afternoon. Certainly has been, but taking a great mark on this occasion for the Tigers is breaking kick Corey Flanagan. Kicks up there where we see Giles doing battle and it looks like Free kick or mark, Ronnie. Yeah. Must be. The coach it is. Dale Smythe. Might be playing at centre half back by the look of it. Smythe kicks the ball across the centre wing. His kick again isn't good and Big Henderson pops in to take the mark at the centre wing position for the Bannockburn club. Kicks the ball towards centre half forward. Nice Coming mark. from the back of the pack and taking a beauty is Murray Travers. Oh, kicks from the 50. Spears a pass in short. Jeez. Oh, the kick was awful. Looking for Pilgrim. Hand pass over the top. Can a goal be scored? Gabby into the football. Horton. Did he get his hands on it, Ronnie? No! It's a goal. Just to start Bannockburn. What an can you pick up the player who kicked it, Ron? I was just watching Horton to see if he can get back and get the hands on it. He couldn't quite do it, and it went through before he got the mitts on it. It's a goal of Bannockburn, bright and early in the third quarter. Number Brought to us by Taco Bill. Number 35 it was, Gary Barker, the full forward, kicking his first uh, badly needed first goal too. Two minutes have gone to the third and vital quarter of football cookie. Ronnie, two minutes went and there were five turnovers in two minutes. That's the sort of game it's been. For God's sake, one of your sides grab it by the scrap of the neck and win it. Knock out of the ruck there by Big Scholar for the bell post hill side, but they can't get it out of the centre. Brazilovic is in there, but it's taken away here. Might be Ronnie Pilgrim coming out of it. Down towards centre half forward. Over the top of brother Matt couldn't mark. Running onto the football. A chance for Murray Travers lively in this early stages of the third quarter. His hand pass is ineffective as Ravis takes the kick from half back, kicks out the centre wing and Priscilla Cabbage, the alphabet grabs the mark, kicks the ball on the right ball, poor kick by him and coming out of defence might well be there, Bath going towards the centre wing right. Yes, he elects to look, look to his team right there at half forward in uh, that was Christian Shaw. On this occasion was well beaten by the fish, I think you'll find. Goes the hand pass to Coombs under pressure from Ronnie Pilgrim. And he was good enough to get it back to his teammate who punts it to half forward quickly and taking a diving mark for the, uh, the Tigers, Damien Dillon. Goes towards centre half forward again. Not a good kick. Akarachi's a chance. It spills clear of him. But picked up by the fish, Travail. Kicks the ball out towards the centre wing. His kick again isn't effective. Umpire paid the free kick to Bannockburn. But let play go on has taken the mark. Who's that? The big fella took it too. Gilesy. Gilesy it was. Kicked the ball into the forward pocket. Over the top of players. It'll spill over the line out of bounds. Right next to the behind post. At the bell right end of the ground. Far side of the ground too, I might add. And a boundary throw in. And Ronnie, it's all Bannock Burn early stages. Third quarter brought to us by Taco Bill. Yes, Taco Bill's top of the hill there. Murable Street. Lovely feet also. As we see the ball now back into play in this third and vital quarter. Bannock Burn... Uh, forward pocket out of side of the ground doing all the attacking early stages as again good pressure though from the bell post hill boys force it over the line and out of bounds about 25 30 meters from the bank burn goal dale smythe is indeed playing at center half back ronnie made been running on the balls he's contesting the boundary so it grabs it out of the air with strength kicks the ball towards the center of the ground with strength but not a good kick and again the kick is astray and again bank burns kick coming back as a stray too it was christian shaw the ex Back. Yeah, Paul Footy and is now the bell post all boys have got an opportunity. Paul Miller has been found out there at centre wing. Goes to centre half for the lead. David Ball was sweet. Plays on on the left foot from 55. He goes bang. The drop punt is a beauty. Beautiful goal. And a great goal. David Ball's third. And that's how you kick the football, David Cook. Well, he came out on the lead, grabbed it with both hands, turned around, bombed long on the left foot, kicked the goal. The defender, I thought, should have got a hand on it, but it's true for a goal. Hey, Dominic Akarachi, she's limping off the ground here, Ronnie. That'll be a loss for the uh, Bell Post Hillers. He's been a superb player on defence, and coming on to replace him is Simon Connolly. Yes, big loss there for the Panthers' cookie, and uh, it'll be interesting to see if uh, Bannockburn put Giles back to full forward now. 
Bounced out of the centre. Up they go. Big Scholar knocks it forward again for Bell Post Hill. Kick comes back a short one, but it was marked by Travail. And Travail sends the Bell Post Hill side into attack. Down towards half forward. Running onto the football, Jeff Coombs. Knocks it out in front of the dangerous Brazilovic. He tackled, loses the ball in possession. The ball goes across towards the back pocket position. Going in there is Wall. Wall pushes his opponent and the ball over the line out of bounds. It will have a boundary show in as the player there trying to get hold of it was the back pocket player in Johnny Galino, but he was shoveled over the fence, and it's a boundary throw in. Paul now, back into play. We've got uh, Paul Miller doing battle. Thumps the ball, but it's sharked strongly out of the air there. Gee, the fist from Miller was a good one as well, but Toolman still controlled the footy. Goes straight across the face of goal too. Finds his teammate in Clinton Shaw. No, it's not. It's Christian. Christian's kick, though, a poor one. Elected to try and find Wayne Philby, who knocked the ball away from his opponent as uh, the big fella Henderson comes in also for Bannockburn um, by McKinnon and has called for a bounce around about, oh, let's have a look, Cookie, 35, 40 metres from the uh, bell post hill goal. Certainly, Ron, and the ball up has occurred. The players all stack in. No Ruckman able to knock that one clear on that occasion. And early stages, third quarter brought to you by Taco Bill. Top of the hill, Mirabal Street. We'll have another... Uh, Actually, a throw-up. We don't have a bounce down. We have a throw-up these days in the GDFL. Up it goes. Benyon cop one in the back for mine. Umpire didn't agree. He's there closer than I am, but he's going to ball up another one. And it's been three ball-ups in two, perhaps uh, one minute, Ron, not even two minutes. And uh, let's see how he goes this time. Umpire McKinnon throws it in the air again with time off. Big leap over the top. I think you'll find that could have been Miller again, but it's shark at ground level by Bath. Paul Bath now goes to the centre of the ground. Connolly was in front, couldn't trap the ball cleanly. Thrown out there, good football. Proctor sees his running teammate now. Kicked the ball to half forward. It won't sit there for Giles. That was Travis that kicked the ball too for Bannockburn. Mick uh, Giles, I should say Matt Giles, has infringed there on uh, Dale Smythe with a little push to the back. And Dale Smythe gets the free kick for the Bell Post Hill side. And the coach this time shows his teammates and his underlings how to kick the footy because he hits Glenn Travail, who's led into space, centrally position, commentary position, right on the chest with a lovely kick. He goes up towards, well, not quite half forward. Little kick out of defence from Phil Proctor. Gains a bit of territory. Cameron Carr's been lovely across half back. Shoots the hand pass out wide and finds Travail. The fish has to kick in a hurry as he's well tackled by Christian Shaw. Down towards half forward, Pilgrim in front, and middle fella Matty Pilgrim will take free kick for over the shoulder too high, said umpire. Yes, great courage, Shane Matty Pilgrim, and nearly took the mark for Mike anyway. His kick is a shocker, slews off the side of the boot. That's a mark, not paid there to that player, number 21 in Michael Scholar. What have you got to do to earn a kick here, Cookie? Up by centre and put the whistle away as we see the bouncing ball now in the centre of Bannockburn's ground here. It's pretty hard out there too, Cookie, and I think the boys will sleep well tonight as the whistle does finally sound. And Benyon's got the free yep, kick, Ron, Stewie just short of the centre. Little kick from Benyon looking for the ever-dangerous, it looks like Coombs who marks, just on the attacking side of centre. Long kick to centre half forward by Coombs. Backing back, no one able to take a mark. Thumped that wide, it's close to half forward flank now. Here's the chance for Galeno to run into the footy. Free kick being paid, Ron. It's going to go Bannock Burns, Ron, the big fella. Robbie Henderson looks like he's going to go back and relieve the press from between half-back flank and back pocket position. Grant stands side of the ground and Bell Post to a deep in attack, but Bannockburn through Henderson had the chance to relieve. Yes, certainly. Talking of Bannockburn, uh, Cookie 2, 24th of July against East Belmont out here at Bannockburn. There's a past players reunion. 20-year year reunion of the 1973 uh, Bannockburn side. Starts at 11.30 out here too, Cookie. Well, the ball's been cleared into the centre of the ground, Ron, by uh, the big fella Henderson there, got it away. It comes out to Cameron Carr of Bell Post. So he has to kick in a hurry on the left foot, but here's the mate going back. Taking another mark, Gary Tool, when he's got sore hands, takes the mark, kicks it out wide, he's found his teammate halfback flank. Yes, opportunity now for the Tigers through uh, Jeff Bingo Brooks. Gee, he's gone inside the corridor. The kick there was a poor one. Look there for Bath. Chipping in there was Benyon, though, for Bell Post Hill. But his kick, likewise, Cookie, a poor one. And uh, Benny Burn through Clinton Shaw can defend. Ron, I can't understand the dreadful kicking of both sides. There's nothing here to upset them. The window is not much at all. There's no rain. The sun's shining, and yet they continually kick the ball poorly. It's a skill cookie, and uh, sometimes a little bit of pressure can unsettle the skill, as we see now an opportunity. Benny Burn through the agency of Christian Shaw. Better football, better build-up Benny Burn until they get to half forward, and he's found the... Uh, 
Simon Connolly from Belpost Hill, that uh, Bannock Burn player. He and well, uh, away the Panthers go. He gives it across to Rabbis by hands. Rabbis kicks the ball towards half-back flank and Horton takes the mark for Belpost Hill. Thumps it down towards Trimmer. That's got too much carry on it for him. Steve Leary picks it up. Still for Leary. Fires that goal. And Leary bobs up UT. Double IR football for season 93. Hey, Kay, just getting back to that fast plays reunion. Cookie on July 24. Uh, Neville Crane, fast player out at Bennington, likewise Craig Blackman, David Carr, Alan Wiggs and of course uh, Mick Giles. Uh, people to talk to regarding the 24th of July, but there's been 70 invitations to players and committee of the 1973 Bennington year, and I believe 100% strike rate uh, has been... Uh, Gee, you wouldn't, you wouldn't mind being on the free list out here, then that'd be a big weekend, Ronnie, right I think. You need to bring a tent, I reckon. Yeah, Set lunch. yourself up and have a nice time. A bit of lunch, a bit of tea, and then a sleep at about up past four in the morning, I yeah. think. Yeah, photos are being taken at 11.30, followed by lunch at 12, and uh, Brian Nash, the coach of the 73 Bennickburn side, will also be present. Good to see the clubs looking after their past players. Back to the centre, Scholar wins the hit down this time for Bell Post Hill, unable to get it quite clear of the centre. Stacking on top, but Scholar goes in and lays the tackle. Well played, big fella. Laid on top of his opponent there. He was unable to get the ball free, and it's a, bound, it's a, a centre bounce again as Thompson picks himself up at the bottom of the pack. Goes whack with the right hand, knocks it 20 metres straight to Cameron Carr, who's been very good across half back. Carr releases the pressure for Bell Post, still out wide it goes, looking for the speedster in Travail to pick it up. He taps it back into play, but it lands in the arms of his opponent there, Clinton Shaw. Shaw goes around the centre wing position, no mark taken. Chance here for Bannock Burr to make something of this one. Can they do something here through Christian Shaw? Left foot kick up the four zone, no one able to mark, backing back there, Rabbis relieves the pressure again for Bell Post Hill, the kick clears Clinton Shaw, who tried hard to take the mark oh, Bannockburn player ridden into the ground for mine, Ron Brain, how did you see that one? Yes, it was definitely there for mine and I think you'll find Paul Bath, the recipient of that free kick for the Bannockburn Dogs got up hobbling as well, let's hope it's not too serious for the youngster he's got the free kick, he'll be alright the kick, though, drops short. Gee whiz, the lead's on, though, there for the Dogs. Used his body well there, too, Barker. Shepherded for Ronnie Pilgrim well. On the left foot from the forward pocket. Look at that. Don't show me he's kicked that. Oh, what a goal. Great oh, goal, Ronnie that Pilgrim. Be goal of the day, Ron. Certainly has, Cookie, and... Uh, it's his third. Not a beauty. Yeah. Sensational football, Ronnie Pilgrim. Kicks his third, as Cookie just mentioned, and uh, brings the Batty Burn Bulls a little closer to the Bell Post hillside. Uh, and uh, we've been travelling, Cookie. Let's have a look now. We've been traveling 12 and a half minutes run in the, in the third quarter. Batty Burn 6 7 43. Bell Bow still 8 8 56. 13 points the difference, and Batty Burn fight back. Yes, they certainly do, and uh, great goal there, Ronnie Pilgrim. Supporters Please. rallying here, Ronnie. I can hear them in the special effects, Mike. They're cheering their sides on out here. Yeah, they certainly are, as we see now the ball bounce, but uh, Brazilicevic comes in now strongly for the oh, ball. Brilliantly side. done. Curl the crisis. I'll next to come to the members' side. The ball, though, was a little bit too well weighted for his teammate on that occasion. You'll find that was Mickey Majek, uh, Vic, and... Uh, well, the Tigers go into attack, but oh, great mark taken last night on a fence from Brett Wallstrom. Yeah, long click. Long kick from Shaw was uh, ineffective because Wallstrom was able to claim the mark. He kicks out the halfback. We're running onto the footy and playing well too. Cameron Carr is dispossessed of the ball but well, not in possession. And he gets the free kick. The umpire's benefit goes to Cameron Carr. Long kick. Up they go. Pazilovich went about three hours too early. Umpire let it go on. Picked up by Chris Doak of Bell Post Hill. Got himself into a bit of strife. Into a bit more strife. He needs support. He's got some there. Might have been Pazilovich's little kick. No, it wasn't. Goes towards half four. And Bannockburn again through a poor disposal of Bell Post. Still are able to get out of trouble to the centre wing position right in front of the King Broccoli side. Yes, and the ball now well done too by Bell Post. Still elects to go back into the centre and finds Jeffrey Coombs. The veteran now punts at the centre half forward. Good use of the body, Miller. Couldn't trap it. Now the loose ball picked up by Steve Lurie. Looks to the lead in the pocket. It's on to Michael Scholar. Good support there from uh, Adam Kilberg. Prasilikovic, oh, great skill, the youngster. Rennie's full oh, turn. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Oh, oh, great what a goal. goal. And on Prasilikovic, great football. His first goal for the afternoon and a very, very handy goal for Belfast Till. And let's have a look, Cookie. 15 minutes of travel in the third and vital quarter of footy. And talking about vital quarters of football, a real ball game at North Shore. North Shore and St. Joseph's, the two league leaders of GFL football. 10 minute mark of the third term. Sees that North Shore are leading by 19 points. Right now, here we've got uh, Bannockburn uh, 43 plays, I think, 
68 run. I just put up the screen very quickly there for me. Just about two seconds too early. But what a goal to Priscilla. She's been a star player today. Back into the centre. Up goes Batty and wins the hit down for Bell Post Hill. They get it out of the centre again through Coos. Little kick towards the half forward flank position. Walls and all sorts of strife. Gets it away to Coombs. Coos goes down to half forward. But back and back. Is that Toolman again taking yeah, another mark? Toolman, yes it is. And uh, he's absolutely dominated. So now. Out wide he goes. Looking for the run of his teammate running on it there. Clinton Shaw with the kick. Again is ineffective, too far for sure. And over the line of bounces and out of bounds and a boundary show in half forward flank with Bell Post Hill attacking in the third quarter. Steve Thompson doing battle there with Batty from Bell Post Hill. The loose ball picked up by Coombs. His hand pass well smothered. Henderson gets the loose ball, kicks around the corner, looks for Carrigan. Good football from him. That was Flanagan, I should say. His hand pass goes to Paul Bath now on the forward line. Better football to Barker. Wastes no time. Feeds off to Sean Baxter who kicks a shocking kick on his right foot and uh, dearie me Cookie you're not going to win games of football doing that sort of thing well he could have done two things Ron he, he had the player of the forward line there running free in Travis he could have passed it to him a lot better or oh, should have gone straight for goal. goal you're right he should have just played on and kicked the, had a shot at the goal mouth boundary umpire throws it in left forward pocket with uh, Bannock Burn into attack picked up here off the pack and a flying shot at the goal mouth by Ronnie Pilgrim was it not Sonny Pilgrim boots his ball, wasn't as good as his third, but it's just as effective for the Bannockburn side, and he bobs his fourth goal through, and this is a good game, Rob. They can't get away, can they, Bell Postal? Bannockburn keep fighting. Certainly 17 and a half minute mark of the third and vital quarter here. GDFL uh, match of the day, round nine, moves Bannockburn out of 7-7-49. Seven, seven, They're only 13 points now in it, trailing Bell Postal 9-8-62. Back to 13 points. They just can't make much impression on that two goal advantage, Ron. Right? One feels if they can get the next goal, it could be a real game in the last quarter here with a few of these young kids of Bannockburn lifting themselves and getting into the game. Up goes Batty. Again wins this hit down from the centre of the ground. Unfortunately for uh, Corey Flanagan, he couldn't get it clear. But they've got it up towards half forward now, Bannockburn. Hand pass comes out to the run of the big fella. Thompson comes down the ground. Fires one into the forward line. Horton's getting back there to do the job for the Bell Post Hillside. Tackle a one-handed hand pass to mine. And the umpire's pinned him. And correct decision by the umpire. Grabs this off. No doubt about it, Ronnie. Great tackle, Gary Barker. Ferocious yep. there, made sure that uh, young Houghton was going to earn every little bit, and he did. And a good umpiring, too, from uh, Matthew Grapsis. Could have, gone, could have gone for the boundary line there, Houghton. Elected to turn back into play. Was claimed in the tackle. The kick drifting across the face. A goal. It's a goal, though. Oh, it's not a through. Oh, oh, can they get the next one? They could. And it's only seven points of difference here at the Bannockburn Oval. Gary Barker kicks his second cookie and the Bannockburn's eighth. They're now 8 7 55. Seven points in the GDFL match of the day. Charlie Bell Post Hill, 9 8 62. Seven and a half minutes travel of this third and final quarter of football buddy what was by Taco Bills Taco Bills top of the hill top of the day here too this is the game of the day don't worry about what the papers right we're here at the game of the day up they go Thompson goes up Batty wins it again Chance running on it for Chris Doak gathers it well for Bell Post Hill left foot kick around the body down the woods half forward wasn't particularly effective out comes Priscillowitz again he played a grand game he's beaten on this occasion and Batty Burn through the bingo go towards half forward short of half forward in fact and a good mark Take and run, that might be Baxter, is it? Yes, it is too. Pretty impressed with the youngster. This time he's dropped punt to the full forward position's a good one. The lead from Barker was good, but good defensive football curves. Gets the loose ball down a centre half back where Rabenian swoops on it. Looks for Primer, who's been well held by Thompson. Breaks clear the big fella. Punts it up to the pocket. Giles couldn't take it. Oh, oh copy went a little high there was young uh, Wallstrom, but he's good enough to get it across to where Houghton breaks clear now for the bell post hill side. Swings the ball towards the centre wing, grandstand side of the ground. Oh, away they come, dashing down the ground. Here is Clinton Shaw for Benny Burney. Gathered that beautifully, kicked the pass inside 50. Manny Travers is out on the lead, takes the mark. 45 degree eagle, no one stands the mark. Oh. Now he comes in and puts for goal. Poor kick from Travers. Oh, colliding with the goal post down there, Ron. Gee, great leap there. I think it looked like... Might have been Sean Baxter, the youngster. Oh. Hit the goal post. Yes, it was. Did he touch the ball, though? Because if he didn't, it will be a penalty-free kick. Well, confusion set in. Umpire. And neither umpire seems to know much about this. Now, the central umpire is coming in to give his verdict of it. 
and he's doing the boundary umpire. It is out on the full and a free kick to Bell Post Hill. And nice football to Benyon out there at out of sight, half back flank. All the bounce of the ball, a cool one there for uh, the Bannockburn defender. Oh, look at Priscilla Look at him. Back. He's beaten three of them, Rob, with a beautiful sure. handball inboard. Yes, Gives it back to Coombs. Back it goes. Oh, player pushed in the back for mine. The Bell Post Hill not paid. Kick off the ground, clears Primer. Down towards half forward now for Bell Post Hill. They need some. Help down there to pick it up. They've got some little hand pass comes out. Who's this on the right foot? Styling at goal. Doak has gone bang. Offline. One point only. Had a chance of a lifetime there, Chris Doak. But missed to the left hand side. Well, it's been one of those games of football, Cookie. The obvious hasn't happened to date, and no pressure. 30 metres out has missed. Ball back in the play. Bannockburn a lick to go to the outer side of the ground. In front, taking a time to grab two for the Bannockburn Tigers. I think you'll find it could be Steve Thompson. Thompson kicks the ball out towards the centre wing. Looking for a team up at Binion there was uh, doing very well too for Bell Post Hill. Kicks towards Primer. It's knocked away from Primer. Players going in after it out wide. Chance here for Priscilovic. Picks it up. Kicks it back towards the uh, the centre of the ground, the corridor area. And coming in, Doak takes the mark. He's within kicking distance, Ron. He is well within kicking distance. Let's see if he can make some amends for that rather crude attempt at a shot for goal on the previous occasion. Yeah, 30 metres out from goal, Cookie. 45 degree angle. Is Chrissy Duck. Let's see if he can make amends. That was Priscilla, which got to him. Gee, he played a great game, hasn't he, this kid? Yes, certainly has, and uh, hasn't stopped running all day. That's the secret to success here this afternoon. Look at the kick from Duck. That's a better one, Ronnie. The goal umpire did not move. Pulled the fingers out of the pocket, put them both up. Goal, Chris Duck. <laughs> Sensational uh, football uh, from the uh, Victoria Park. Not so victorious for Collingwood this afternoon. And uh, <laughs> Well, let's get back to the uh, big game here at Bannockburn because the scoreboard shows now, I think you'll find, that uh, Bell Post Hill... 10-9-69 uh, not leading, batting burn 8 7 55. Who can get the ball out of the centre? Coombs is trying hard for Bell Post Hill to send him into attack, but it's taken away by Flanagan. Flanagan's run down the tackle, picked up by Cameron Carr of Bell Post Hill, fires the ball towards centre, half forward, and a mark's been taken out here. The big fella's gone back and got it. Miller, Miller kicks a little pass into the forward zone, inside the 50, and coming out, it's Joey Barbaro on the ground, and he's taken the mark, Ronnie, and he's only, whoa, let's have a look here. He's only 35 metres out from goal. He is directly in front. Yes, real opportunity now for the Panthers if they can steady here. This will give them a bit more breathing space. The drop punt oh, from Barbaro. I think you'll find looks good. Yes, great goal from the interchange player. Joey Barbaro kicks his first and a very handy 11th goal for the uh, Bell Post Hill Panthers. He was very happy too. He ran up to Coombsy and said, how just how about that one? Just see me kick that one, Coombsy. Coombsy said, I've been playing for years, son. I've seen many of them kicked. But that's a pretty handy one there for Bell Post Hill because Bannockburn got within a few points and Bell Post Hill have steadied Ron and they've kicked the last, three go last two goals through Doak and also through Barbaro. 24 and a half minutes of the uh, Taco Bill third and vital quarter of football. Bell Post to 11 9, 75, 20 points over Bannock, 8 7, 55. <laughs> Thanks very much, Shane. Back to the footy here, and Paul Miller drives uh, Bell Postal into a too high on Primer. A little high, yes. Oh, Eric felt that from, from here. Yes, I felt it from here, Ronnie. Dave the left Primer. ear would be stinging of Dave Primer, I would say, and the umpire he certainly made him look at it, and uh, the umpire didn't miss it. And Dave Primer, who hasn't had his greatest day of all time, we gave him best on ground last time we saw him. He kicks this one, it makes it interesting. He ran close to the man on the mark, but the goal umpire is going to get sunburned on the roof of his mouth. He leads back with a goal open, right through the middle. Lovely goal, Dave Primer, and Bell Post still have slipped away. They certainly have. Dave Primer, personal tally, two goals, two hit this afternoon in the GDFL round nine match of the day. Moves the Taco Bill. Third quarter scoreboard. Onto a very impressive one now for Bell Post. Till there, 12 9 81, 26 point leaders over Bannockburn, 8 7 55. Six goals to the quarter so far to Bell Post Hill. They've come with a rush in the last five minutes. Yes, Shane. Oh, 
Well, thanks very much, Shane. That means I don't think I've got a winner in AFL football so far, Cookie, but let's get back to this one. Oh, Big Anderson's kicked the ball back to centre-half forward for Benny Firth. He's taken down an opponent as he's swung around, and it's on in the centre. We'll stick with the footy. Bell post still come out of attack. It's going to go out of bounds right in front of the commentary position, and the big fella, Henderson, kicked the ball forward, and uh, as he was tackled by Batty, he kept going around with the perhaps the right arm and the, just uh, embraced him, shall we say, and they wrestled to the ground. Well, I think frustration's creeping in. Bannock Bird really have to get back to the footy if they're going to get back into this game as we see good work there to Coombs and uh, the veteran punts at the half forward in front taking uh, should have been measures to chest marks Wade Philby put it down and uh, oh, Steve Lurie comes in and gets the edges to free kiss. Well, poor play from Phil. I mean, he should have marked that one. Louis fires the goal into the goal. Oh, he might have kicked it. I think it's a big kick. Stop it. Great goal. Bob's another one. And they've got right away here, Bell Post. He'll have to look in a bit of trouble about 15 minutes into the quarter run. They've opened up a large break now. Yes, and Lurie's fourth goal. Yes, and uh, for all our businesses out there too, listening to the Double R broadcast this afternoon, a little disappointing, Cookie. We haven't got a goal or mark of the day award today, and uh, that's a little disappointing for local I football. I certainly think so. So anyone listening next week, give uh, click, uh, the young lady's name as Barbara in there at Double R on two one seven one double four. That's two one seven one double four. Pop in and uh, give your support to GDFL football and. Uh, well, give us an award for the mark or goal of the day, Cookie. The player of the day, of course, is uh, sponsored not only by uh, guest video, but also Pizza Land. Pizza Land, yeah. 87 plays, 55. Got away a little bit here at Bell Post. I've got the ball at the centre the last four times. Can they do it again? They can through Benyon to half forward. And in front, Paul Miller accepts the pass. Hand passes across to the running Coombs. Blazes away along on the right foot towards the goal square. Getting back Primer and able to hold the mark off hands. One point only off the boot of Coombsy. And... Uh, Open up a nice little lead here on before three-quarter time. Have Bell Postal, and they did look a bit in a bit of trouble there halfway through the quarter. Certainly did, Cookie. 27 and a half minutes gone. Bannock Boom with possession of the ball through the agency of Robert Henderson. On the outer side, half-back flank goes short. Finds Christian Shaw, plays on orderly, got caught, but now steadies. On the left foot, punts it up there looking for the lead there. In front, Giles couldn't take the overhead grab. Barker now butters up for Bannock, shoots the ball into the pocket, but there's nobody home for the Tigers. And Simon Connolly quite happy to suit go over the line and out of bounds for the Bell Post hillside, some 20 metres from the Bannock Burn goal. Bannock Burn leading a goal or two before three quarter time to put themselves back in the game. Boundary umpire puts this one back into play. The big fella there in Giles grabs it out of the air, has a flying shot on the right foot, won't make the distance. Going back, Horton takes a great mark and great judgment as the bounce plays on, gets around Pilgrim, nearly stumbles, tumbles, has to kick the ball in a hurry in the finish. Horton, he kicks it over the line out of bounds, tumbling it over. But yeah, well done, who, Ron? Well done by Horton or well done yeah, by the other Horton. I thought Horton did very well. Excellent. He knew he was under pressure with Matty Pilgrim burning down on his heels, stopped. Pilgrim went past him, under pressure again from another defender, and it was good enough, in good the enough to find the boundary line. Good to face it back in. Coombs at the back almost took it out of the air. It goes to turf. Chance here for Ronnie Pilgrim trying to crash his way through the package lane to the tackle. And Bale come in and ball this one up as Benyon was about to head off with the footy, but good decision by the umpire. Just inside the 50, Baddick Bird in attack. Umpire. McKinnon throws it in the air. We've got, uh, looks like the big fella Scholar having run on the ball. Gets it to Benyon. Stewie Benyon's kicked the centre half forward. Well thumped away there by Toolman from uh, Miller. But Sharky got to get out and pursue a Good football for the youngster. Looks up there to the pocket for his teammate in Joey Barbro. Can't find him. Now pursue a again. Sharks the footy. Screws it back to the car. Oh, but great defensive football. Phil Proctor for Bunny Firm. Thumps it away from Dave Primer. And a rushed score, a minor score on the board for the hill. A rush behind it is, Ron. Let's give Priscilla some credit. He got that ball in the centre and went up down there kicking the forward pocket. Tremendous play. Followed it down well. Away go Bannock Burn out of defence. Kick goes out to halfback. Might be sure kicking this one around the far side of the ground. Looking for his teammate out there in Baxter. Baxter can't gather it in before the ball beats him and his opponent over the line and out of bounds. Far side of the ground, centre wing position. Getting close to three-quarter time. And I think Bannock Burn really need to kick a couple of quickies, Ron. Yeah, they certainly do. And, uh, well, Philby is now on the ball, but uh, Scott are doing very well for Bell Post. Still got it down to Benyon, but uh, good pressure from the Tigers. Smaller players there force him over the line and out of bounds, and we'll uh, have an action replay, Cookie. But uh, gee whiz, uh, 
Bell Post Hill just have a little bit more uh, power and strength around the ground. Scholar versus Phil Bay on this occasion. It spills by the bend and gets a hand pass across. And it's a good hand pass too. Because his teammates streaming down the ground. Kicks towards centre half forward. Back of the pack a chance here. On the left Miller. foot might have been Miller into the goal square. It was. And a mark taken in the goal square for Bell Post Hill. This will be a gimme a goal. And this will be David Wall's fourth for the afternoon. Yes. Well played by the big fella Miller there. Under a bit of pressure. Had the presence of mind. Not the players away. He put it up in the air and running into space. David Wall marked right in the goal square. Goes ba -ba 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 bang. And another one on the board. Fourth goal for David Wall. And they've got away Bell Post still. 14 10 94. Bannockburn standing still at the moment at 8 7 55. And it is now 39 points the difference. Good call. Ronnie, the mats are getting better each week. <laughs> 30 and a half minutes of travel of this third and vital quarter of football out here at Bannockburn in the GDFL round nine match of the day. Third quarter, of course, brought us by Taco Bells. Taco with the loveliest tacos and with enchiladas, all those lovely Mexican foods. Must take you there one night, run the burritos. There they go, get into the burritos. They're the ones. You've never oh, heard of them, have you? I have heard of those, Dave. Oh, you I have. I normally have the combination. That's also a very nice meal in there at Taco Bells, top of the hill, Mirable Street. Yes, I know a bit about your combination, John. We'll keep them <laughs> off the air, waiting on the ball to come back to the middle. Here it comes now from the tennis courts. And uh, they really have got away here, Bell Post Hill, haven't they? They've kicked uh, about seven, eight goals now for this quarter. And that's the break, the crucial third quarter, and that's the break that may well decide this game. Yes, it certainly will, Cookie, and that's probably why they're in Division 1, but it's in Division 2. <laughs> And Bay about to start proceedings. Back into the centre of the ground he goes. Miller's up there doing the ruck work. He'd just been doing the work down in the forward line there. Uh, kicked out of the centre here. Benyon again gets it forward. Bouncing, bouncing, bouncing at half forward. Running onto the football but unable to trap it there. Was uh, Primer. Comes out wide by the Bannockburn defenders. Heading across there for Johnny Galino. Couldn't handle it. Went off his hands. Missed opportunity, didn't matter, the siren's gone for three-quarter time. And the, the scoreboard shows at three-quarter time, eight goals, 7.55. That's four goals straight that quarter for Bannockburn. But they are trailing Bell Post till 14 goals, 10.94. And Bell Post till that quarter kicked eight goals, two. So we saw 12 goals, two kicked for the quarter. And one of those points was a rushed one run. Yes, certainly. Uh, well, very, very good football that term, Bell Post.